as you get older in life, you tend to get more bitter. Why? Uh, because you've experienced a heartbreak, you've experienced the death of uh, loved ones, you've been uh, hurt by the world, and even if you've also experienced good things, which I think most people have experienced a balance of good and bad things, no matter what your experience in life, you just get tired of fighting. Uh, because life requires fighting, you know, fighting not to let yourself go physically, fighting to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, fighting to show up uh, at your job or to deal with life. You know, life is, always has issues. And this constant fight wears you out over time. Uh, it's the endless, it's the feeling like it, it never ends. It's just uh, this uh, state of suffering, which if you read the Bible, life itself is a curse, right? That supposedly Eve ate the apple and now uh, Adam and Eve were cursed. Having a child was a curse. You're, you know, that's why the Bible says women have labor pains because it's a, it's a curse uh, carried throughout uh, history for the original sin. And you're going to be cursed your entire life having to labor. That's what the Bible says too. Like to make a living, you're going to be cursed. You know, you're going to have to labor. And so uh, do I believe all that? You know, as I get older, I don't really believe in everything uh, from a religious standpoint. I don't believe in everything in the Bible. I think some things too are not literal. They're more of a um, expression of thought through a story. Uh, but I, I think it's interesting that that, you know, is a main the, uh, theological standpoint that life itself, whether it's birth or whether it's working, is a curse, not a blessing. And, you know, as you go through life, you know, you do also see the, the New Testament part of life where there's grace and forgiveness and love, but it's all uh, a level of shallow and it all, you know, it's phony a little bit too, you know, and so you're you're in this battle, especially as you get older, not so much younger. As you get older, the hope is burned off your soul and the inspiration, and you have to find ways, okay, to reinvent yourself, to reinvigorate yourself. And I think for me, the foundation is self-care. And uh, it, it's a struggle. I just got out of the gym in the morning. It's a struggle to get yourself in the gym. It's a struggle to maintain a life where you're, when you go in the gym, you're, but what you're doing is self-induced suffering. You know, it's enjoyable to get out of the gym and to go and work there, work in there. I'm, I'm grateful for the gym. I mean, after the coronavirus went shut down gyms, if that didn't make you grateful for working out, I don't know what will, but when you go in the gym, what you're doing is you're tearing your muscles because when you lift weights or when you run or whatever, you're putting stress on your body. You're, you're making your body suffer so that it becomes in shape and it can endure and get stronger. You know, no pain, no gain. So it's a healthy, good thing, but at the same time, it requires suffering. So life is that, you know, like dynamic where you have to have suffering to have endurance to get through life. And then mentally, it's like, well, if I got to play this game, what type of God is there? God makes me suffer so that I can enjoy the good times. You know, because if you think about it, well, if I was God, every moment would be good. Well, I'd make bad. But but then you realize, too, you know, that you know, you're not God. And so you don't want to start to just question God because that just makes you more bitter. <laughs> so you learn to let go of a lot of things, to be grateful for what you have and just say, fuck it. I'm not going to be here forever no matter what. So let me just make the most of my life. And that's that's my bottom line conclusion. You know... Whether you decide to take care of yourself or you don't, bottom line is none of us are going to live forever in this earth, which could be a good or bad thing. And, and so eventually you just have to decide, am I going to make my life as best as possible uh, or am I going to suffer and make those around me suffer more? Uh, that's what, after all the self-help books, after all the religion, after all the motivational speaking, that's what life comes down to. You know, how good do you want to make your life based on what you can control and how much do you just not want to put effort into it? Uh, there's things outside of our control that affect us sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad, but you can't control it. So that's the bottom line. You know, you can go searching for all these books and you can mind fuck life and uh, you can become very religious or, you, you know, you can become a workout fanatic. You can do whatever, but 
you know, that's the bottom line answer. So, you know, those are my morning thoughts on a life where it is a fight every day. There's no doubt. Uh, is the fight worth it? You know, it all depends on, on what you feel, you know, but you know, you got no choice. So that's what it is. Like, you know, you're either going to get beat up or you're going to fight back as far as like fighting back for your best life. So I've just decided uh, I'm going to try to fight for my best life as best I can. And that's what you'll have to decide on your journey uh, to position yourself in an environment that inspires you to do side hustles, to try to find a way you can make money while doing something you love, but also still suffering through doing some things you don't love. Uh, you know, there's, look, there's beach day and there's laundry day, okay? You know, everything has a give and a take, suffering and blessing. So, don't know why it's like that, but that's the way it's like that. So, you know, it's it's, it's just a, an acceptance thing, you know, and a grinding out thing, and a perseverance thing, endurance thing. So, if you appreciate this video, I appreciate if you click the thumbs up. Now, thank you to all my members who support the channel. If you'd like to be a member, click the blue join button. It'll give you unlimited access to all my live chats that I do every day, God willing, on this channel. Uh, give you a custom badge, custom emojis. And that's it, guys. Keep pushing forward one day at a time. You know, do the best you can. And, uh, you know, that's all we can do. Okay? Peace.